Hello beautiful souls and welcome to Karuna Yoga. My name is Veronica and today I have another hardcore workout for you. Heat yoga fusion and strength building fusion, I don't even know how to name it. I got inspired from yoga movements and these exercises are put together to drill your core strength and mine as well. <laughs> we will be doing each exercise for one minute and then we will jump right into the next one. So there will be no rest, no gap between the exercises. But if at any point you need to take a rest, please step away from the practice and just honor your body's needs. Please also make sure that you are warming up your body before you do any physical activities. And if you're completely new to exercising, consult with your doctor or physician if these exercises are going to be suitable for you or not. So please, please, please take care of your body first before you jump into anything new or anything strenuous. Okay, today we will be using two blocks for this practice. So prepare your blocks or your block substitutes next to your mat. And if you're ready, then step on your mat. And without further ado, let's get this video started. The first exercise is traditional plank knee to chest. The wrists are underneath the shoulders and the feet are hip distance apart. Keep squeezing one knee at a time up towards your chest. Second, we have knee hover side steps. Starting from the middle, you will step onto the right side of the mat, then to the left side of the mat, come back into the middle and then push up to downward facing dog. Then repeat from the beginning. The next exercise I call hip dipping knee tucking. We will come onto our forearms, dip the hips on both sides and then one knee at a time squeeze the knees up towards your armpits as close to the torso as you can. Shalabhasana lifts, coming all the way down onto your tummy, with the inhale lift the chest and the legs off the floor, shoot the arms back and with the exhale lower back down.
Navasana Russian Twists. You can keep your shins parallel with the floor, but make sure you squeeze the legs together and you remain nice and straight in your spine. Next, come all the way down onto your forearms. Squeeze the tummy, lift the pavis, tap your heels together twice, and then just like in Upavishta Konasana, lift the legs up towards the ceiling using your lower tummy muscles. Using your blocks, place them next to your knees, press your hands into the floor lifting up to Lulasana. You can do the negative version of this if you cannot lift all the way up to Lulasana yet or you can keep the toes on the floor. Just find whichever version of it is accessible to you at this point. And never give up, this is a hard move, but it will come. Lifting up the shoulder stand. Make sure that you're only using your core strength here. Keep pressing the lower back into the floor, zip up the legs, and with the inhalation, lifting yourself up and bringing the legs towards the ceiling. And with the exhale, using your control and strength, lowering your back vertebrae by vertebrae down onto the floor. Wild thing step throughs, making sure that you really squeeze your obliques, opening the arm up towards the ceiling, pressing through the supporting arm.
commando push-ups now this is not an easy move and as i can tell i have a butt problem here but what we want is the body to be one straight line and always placing the wrists underneath those shoulders Plank knee to opposite elbow. You can remain in your high plank or lower yourself down onto your knees coming into your tabletop position. Keep working with the same move. Prepare your blocks because we will be working with our jump back lifts. You can keep your toes on the floor, just make sure that you squeeze those knees in towards your chest as much as you can and that you round your back, tucking the tailbone under, trying to curl up into a tiny, tiny ball. Side plank hip dips. You can keep your legs straight or halfway through I will be lowering down onto my right knee making sure that I'm one straight line and that I'm not collapsing in my lower back either. You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me. minute we will just change sides
And our last exercise just before we finish is a reverse tabletop press. Your feet are hip distance apart, the wrists are underneath the shoulders, and with the inhale, lifting, thrusting your hips up towards the ceiling, and with the exhale, lowering them down, not putting them down on the floor, just hovering there. Come on, you can do it. This is the very last move. Congratulations for completing the workout. That was a challenging one. I had to modify quite a lot. But what I wanted to show you with this, instead of just quitting halfway through, is that it's still better to modify and make the exercises available and accessible to you. These practices, these strength hit yoga infused workouts, really helped me to tire my body and train myself in that space of being fatigued and still try to focus on the alignment or if I cannot anymore, give up the ego and just modify and take back a notch. So these kind of practices really helped me in my Ashtanga yoga practice, which I just wanted to share with you. If you found this video fun or challenging, then make sure that you like it, you share it, you comment on it, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you never miss any upcoming content. Press that little bell button so you get notified when I post a new video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and if you want to support my work, go over to my Patreon page and show me some love there too. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Have a beautiful day and a beautiful practice. Om Shanti Namaste.